Hey guys, if you want to know how I came up with this makeup look and see what the story is behind it, stay tuned and see how I get ready. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm just kind of relaxing and playing in makeup after working really hard on getting like laundry caught up and stuff like that. Today is my son's first day back at school, so I woke up early to do all that. So let's do a rundown on what is on my face. I've got the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer. I'm wearing my Maybelline Fit Me matte poreless foundation this is in 112 natural ivy ivory i don't know why i always mess that up it's ivory but i always say ivy i, I got issues i'm using my elf 16 hour camo concealer this is fair rosy i have on the kat von d locket powder concealer to set my whole face and i'm baking with the maybelline fit me powder so that gives you a breakdown of what's actually on my face right now today i wanted to just kind of do like a darker smoky brown look so for that i'm going to use my naked smoky palette from urban decay and i wanted to use my huda beauty um smoky obsessions palette so when you think of smoky obsessions, you kind of think black, because that's the reason why I wanted this one so bad. But actually, most of this palette is brown. There's one black and one silver. And the silver is a glitter. So it's it's strange. But anyway. So I'm gonna get into this look today. So I'm gonna start off with the Urban Decay Naked Smoky, which as you can see, mostly gray and black. That's what I think of when I think of a smoky eye. I'm gonna start off with this shade right here, the shade 13, and I'm gonna lay that down all over my lid with this AOA Studios E140 brush. Just give us a nice little base right there. go in with this elf blending brush and I want to start off with the shade in Huda actually so I'm gonna go to the Huda Beauty Obsessions palette and I'm gonna go for this camel color shade right here and we're gonna put that in the crease just going right here in the inner corner Blending that shade out. It's really weird. I'm blending and my like face is like coming off. It's just strange. Okay, anyway, I'm going to wipe that brush off, then I'm going to take a step down in color to this shade in the Huda palette, and we're going to start at like the three quarter mark of my eye in the crease and we're going to take that across just kind of blending it back and forth And I want to take this first shade again because it's like 
scooped into non-existence. I kind of just pat that back into the inner corner right there. Just don't get that shade, but okay. Then I'm going to go back over to my Urban Decay. I'm going to go for this shade right here, which is called Whiskey. I'm going to go for the halfway mark of my eye and lay that shade down and blend it out. take this e.l.f. shader brush and we're going to go back into the Huda Obsessions powder for the palette for this very dark shade right here and we're going to go right here to the outside corner and pat that on. I'm just taking a brush with no product on it and blending these all back together, giving it a nice airbrush look. For my lid, I'm going to go into this middle shade right here in the Huda Beauty Obsessions palette. It's a dark brown glitter. Then I want to kind of go with the Urban Decay palette and I'm going to go for this shade right here which is called Dirty Sweet. Then right in the middle, I'm going to take this shade, which is called High. And that's the look I'm going with. So I'm going to jump off camera real quick, do my other eye, and be right back. eyes are done let's get on with the rest of my face so it is time to contour we're going to go into the wet n wild queensland bronzer which is just too dark for me to bronze with so we're going to take this crown contouring brush we're just going to swirl it around in here knock off the excess and start contouring We don't want to go too deep, so we're going to lay down some, we're going to clean the brush off a little bit, Ooh, don't want to drop that, we're going to clean off the brush some and buff that out. Do the same the exact thing on the other side, maybe I can stop screwing up my contour. It's just a thought. I'm 
Okay. Now that I have that down, I am going to go over this with a little bit of Reserve Your Cabana with my powder brush. Just tone that down just a little bit. And blur it out just a little bit. Okay, that worked out nicely. Now let's get into bronzer. We're going to be using Wet n Wild Strip Tees that I have had to crush up. I'm going to be using a different um, bronzing brush. I just got this one. It's Eco Tools Blending and Bronzing Brush. This is what the top looks like. Very big, fluffy. These are not too densely packed, and they got a duo fiber kind of tip to them. So let's see how this works out. So I gotta dip in and oh crap just knock bronzer everywhere. That's great. is blending out quite nicely. I'm just getting bronzer all over my table right now and it's kind of frustrating me. Actually, first, I'm going to try these. These are supposed to be like a natural bronzer from uh, e.l.f. I'm going to just kind of put this on a little bit in the center of my face. It's these like little balls. So I'm going to use the same bronzing brush. I'm just going to kind of dust it off a little bit. You're supposed to swirl your brush around and then just kind of buff it because I'm a little bit like right here in this area and we'll see how that works out at the end so with that let's move on to blush we're going to use the precious pearlescent pink I will get this correct at some point pearlescent pink from wet n wild going in with a wet n wild blush brush and just flush that up a little bit Okay, now for highlighter. Highlighter, we're going to use this pretty vulgar highlighter. This is in Shimmering Swan. I got this in a boxy charm. Isn't that pretty? Very pretty color. So we're just going to take this Luxie 522 tapered highlighting brush and get us 
some nice glow. take a little bit of this on this elf fan brush right here and we're just gonna hit this brow bone right here just like this take it back into that highlight did notice I am missing one thing. I have not done an inner corner highlight, so let's correct that real quick. I'm going to pull out the Naked Smoky Palette again, and I've got an AOA Studios E124 brush. I'm going to go into the shade high right here, and just hit this inner corner. quick and I'm just going to take this big fluffy brush and kind of just dust off any excess on my face and it's time for some primer water. Okay, fan. And get the rest of my stuff set out here. Alright, so I'm going to do kind of a two-fold thing on my lower lash line. So for the back half of my lower lash line, I'm going to be using just a plain black. This is a Beauty For Real Eye Line in Black Magic. For this very inner corner right here, I'm going to be using the Appeal Gel Liner in Desert Taupe. So I'm going to just take, get my mirror ready. eyes alone for just a minute let them adjust while I do my eyebrows I'm going to use this billion dollar brows universal brow pencil need to get up a little bit closer do my brows Ooh. 
Just adding a little bit of color to fill in some blank spots. Then we're just going to comb that through, make sure it's all nice and even. this Butter London Power Up Mascara. I'm not a huge fan of this wand and I'll show you why. One, this is like a huge rubber piece but like the tip is wider. It doesn't like taper down. It actually tapers up which is a very weird. Makes it hard to get into like the inside corner of your eye. I'm not the hugest fan of this. The formula is okay. It's just this applicator sucks. It makes your eyelashes clump up because you're trying to like poke it around in there to get it where the applicator is too thick to go and so your eyelashes clump up it's very troublesome to work with Just not a fan. Formula's good, it's just that applicator sucks, so it makes like a good formula suck. Not cool. 
And I'm going to top this off since we're doing kind of like a nice smoky looking eye. We're going to go up with a nice dark chocolate lip. So we're going to go in with Jeffree Star's Dominatrix. Love it. And so that's my look for today. The eyeshadow is a little bit more blown out. I, I think I blended a little too much today. It's a little bit more blown out than I wanted it to be, but it's still a very nice look in my opinion. Now, let me go ahead and set my face because I think the mascara has had long enough to dry. I want to give it a couple more seconds because yesterday I went to set my face and mascara kind of blocked underneath my eye so let's give it a couple more minutes anyway guys if you haven't already go ahead and give this video a thumbs up if you haven't already go ahead and subscribe and ring that bell so that you are notified every single time I upload a video also down in the comment section below let me know what you think of this look what kind of products would you use to achieve a look like this? Or did you like the products that I used? Also, in the description box down below, you can find my Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, also my email. Also, there is my referral code to BoxyCharm. Now, let's talk about the BoxyCharm for a second. It is a $21 a month subscription box. You get five full size makeup items inside that box every single month and things that you may receive in BoxyCharm are things like this Luxy brush that I used to do my highlighter today, things like the highlighter I used today, things like the mascara even though I don't like the applicator but the formula is good. Several things in my makeup collection came from BoxyCharm and there are things that I have discovered using BoxyCharm that I would not have discovered and things that I have purchased because of BoxyCharm that I would not have ever discovered or purchased if it was not for BoxyCharm. So if you would like to try out BoxyCharm and want to use my referral code, please do so. I do not get any monetary value out of that. I get charms to shop in the charm room for more makeup to show on this channel. Anyway guys, that's going to do it for today, and I think it's time for me to set my face, so we're going to go in with this Hard Candy Sheer Envy Mattifying Setting Spray. And, I'll see you on the next one guys. Bye for now.